are at my brother's apartment because guess who's gonna be organizing his kitchen? This girl. So I ordered a shelving system from Ikea uh, for about 80 bucks and it has three to four shelves and it fits that width. That was my only issue. I wanted to find a shelving system that would fit that wall so that it's not in the way because there's this, let me see, there's this dip right here. So as long as the shelf can fit here, I feel like it's gonna make sense. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go to Target, I'm gonna get some canisters. You already know those clear canisters that I'm so obsessed with. I'm gonna get a few of those and I'm also gonna get him some bins. Those really inexpensive Y weave or Y shape bins. I've mentioned it in my video, my Target video, if you haven't watched it, watch it, heal, heal. Um, I'm gonna get a few, I saw some black ones, I feel like they'll go with the vibe. And I'm also gonna mix it up with some, another texture. I like the water hyacinths from the container store. I might get a few of those, the, the mocha color, because I feel like it goes really well with his, with his uh, cabinet doors or cabinetry, period. So I think I'm gonna get a few. Only two bins can fit on each shelf. And I'm gonna go look at it again, but there's about four shelves. So I think I'm going to have his shelves be full of bins. And then his canisters are probably gonna go here. So this is my thought. I'm going to bring his dishes, his glassware, down here because he does use them. And I'm going to put all of his paper stuff like he has a few of these you know he has a lot of disposables actually I'm gonna put them over here and then it's on top he's pretty tall so he can reach it and then in the middle is where the canisters are gonna sit they are deep enough so it's gonna be full canisters my brother does have a lot of nuts cereal his mac and cheese is like craft mac and cheese <laughs> So we're probably going to have a lot of that on this side or underneath since it'll be like the bulk of things. Uh, and then I'm going to get some Lazy Susans because he has a lot of sauces. He has a lot of these ketchup condiments, you know, oils and stuff. I'm going to have those over there. He has two small, um, no, actually not two, one, two, three, three small shelves in this cabinetry in front of me. Let me turn myself over. So I know it's dark right here, but as you can see, he has one, two, three four five six shelves shelves that's where one lazy susan will sit so basically this will be an entire lazy susan area so all of his condiments all of his like literally all of his sauces condiments and all that jazz because he has a lot over here will sit over here right now he has a lot of cleaners in there which you know makes sense but i'm going to put them in bins as i usually would and if there's any like if there's any space in there i'm going to add like some bulk items so maybe like his big old protein that's probably going to sit under here he does have this cabinet which sits his george foreman so i might bring something under here probably put his protein down there uh i'm thinking of possibly adding it to its own canister but there's no point in tra transferring it out because he probably doesn't care so i'm probably just going to move it somewhere so that it doesn't sit here and he just has to get it his Vitamix does sit here, so I feel like it makes sense for the protein to sit at least under there. He does have this, so he's doing pretty well. What I'm going to do is take this out because this is irrelevant. <laughs> and I'm going to put some Tiki Tac on it. And then anything that needs to sit here, I'll add. Unless he wants me to buy him the expandable, the expandable drawer dividers or drawer organizer, then I'll get it. And then this whole thing will be filled with an organizer. Also, my brother does have tea. He's a tea drinker. So I'm thinking of bringing in his tea, which sits here. Thinking of putting it in here and then taking all this out and putting it with the utensils so that they're all in one place and they're not separated. So I'll bring his tea here. Therefore, I'm going to get a drawer divider or I'm going to use the everything organizers in this drawer. I feel like, can you see me? Okay. I feel like it's going to make the most sense for him than having it here and having this here because it's practically empty. Again, the goal when it comes to organizing a small space is using every inch of the space. And because this is an apartment building, I'm not going to put holes in here just so that it's easy for him to move out. So what I'm gonna do is add storage. So I'm gonna add the storage shelf over here and then just add bins 
two surfaces so that he has access to it. And because he's tall, he can have access to him. But even if you're not tall, get a stool. I always recommend that everyone should have a stool so you don't have an excuse to why you don't go to the top portion of your shelf, bookcase, your home. So that's what's going on right now. Right now, it looks like everything is everywhere. But once I start making sense of the, everything and then start bringing in the products, everything is going to come together. So I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to go ahead and start planning out everything and then I'll come back to you guys when I start going shopping. What's going to happen is we're going to have to come back tomorrow because I scheduled pickup for the shelf for later this evening so I'm going to have to come back tomorrow to kind of finish everything but if I can pick up some things from the container store and from Target first I'll definitely go pick them up and bring them here. BRB and I'll see you soon. So now it's time to show you guys the apartment. As I said before, this kitchen is in an apartment, meaning it is small and there's limited space. So the goal for this video is to show you guys how to maximize your kitchen space. And the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys or suggest is you can't shop bulk. You got to minimize the amount of items you put in here. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like so that you understand what I'm talking about. So you're gonna follow me and I'm gonna show you guys the first thing that I did. So come this way. So as you know, this is my brother's space. And the first thing or this first space that I started in was his cabinets. So as you can see behind me, these cabinets have a limited amount of space, a limited amount of shelf space. So I decided to bring in some Lazy Susans because Lazy Susans is a great way to maximize the entire interior of a cabinet, especially if you're working with a small cabinet. So this Lazy Susan is from the Container Store. And if you know, I do love this Container Store, even though they need to sponsor me, but that's neither here nor there. So his sauces sit here and his sauces sit over here. If you saw before, you saw that all his spices and his sauces sat on his countertop. And that is a no-go, of course. So I decided to put them in the cabinet so he can have access to them and they're easy to put away. I think that was an issue. It was, first of all, figuring out where to put them and then making it easy for him to put it away because he's super busy and it's very important that I made sure that his space was very easily accessible and easy to maintain. So up here, if you saw before, it was pretty occupied with stuff, but now it is empty. That's great because now if he does have some stuff in his space like some extra stuff he can just put it up there i wanted to make sure that he had some empty space because outside of that space we're using the entire kitchen and you know things just change so it's very important that you at least create some kind of empty space for yourself when it comes to organizing your space so let's go up so let me go ahead and close this so up above is where I put all of his bulk items. So he has a lot of bulk items, which granted he does have other places that this stuff go to, but because a lot of times they sit in his space, I wanted to create a space for these items. Because he will use paper towels, I decided to put all of his paper towels up above. So if he does buy bulk, he can just place them up above rather than having them sit on the floor, which if you watch my channel, you know that's a no-no, especially in a small space. So I use those bins from the container store. I think these are one of the best bins that are inexpensive and plastic, especially when you're working in a kitchen. Going plastic is the best route or like um, basket weave, um, what am I trying to say? Like the water hyacinths. Those are great for kitchens and pantries because they're just not as uh, high maintenance as other bins are. If you are someone who has deep pantries, I would suggest that you use those kind of bins because they are wide. So basically they will act as a drawer rather than just a bin. But I decided to use them up above on his cabinetry because they are so wide that they can fit a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to his bulk items. So again, please, if you do have a small space, you don't have to shop bulk. Actually, you shouldn't shop bulk because you don't have the space for it. But just in case you have to, for some of us, I would suggest using the top portion of your cabinetry and just having a lightweight bin so whenever you need to get access to it, you can easily. And of course, always have a stool in your kitchen, always. So I also did the same with his bulk items. So his protein shakes, they sit 
on his as a fridge they sit on his fridge now so whenever he needs to add them to his fridge they're easily accessible my brother's pretty tall so he can kind of reach it easily but if you are not tall like me get a stool so and also i did the same with his disposable plates and coffee cups his extras they sit on the top as the others because we are working in a small space and counter space is essential that makes your space look less small and more larger or less it doesn't matter anyway all right so we're gonna go to the other side I'm gonna show you guys his big or larger cabinet and that's where a lot of his dishes and other things sit so come follow me so welcome to the other side of my brother's kitchen and this is where his largest cabinet sits so it was very important that he had a place for his dishes, of course. And one thing he does perfectly is he has a limited amount of kitchen items in his kitchen, which is so important when we're working in a small kitchen because they're able to fit in this small kitchen easily. So as you can see, all of his dishes sit here now. And the uh, main attraction is this area right here. I chose to put all of his First of all, I decided to use these Target canisters. If you know me at all, you know that I'm obsessed with these. I decided to use these in his space because they're really gender neutral. I know that sounds weird, but because of the shape of them, I feel like they will fit well in like a more masculine space. And they're just a beautiful canister and they're very inexpensive compared to what I see. So if you're familiar with my work, of course I had to use the black chalkboard labels because first of all, they're black and I love black but it's very easy to replace the label so if he chooses to add any other type of ingredient or item in these canisters he can just erase it and then rewrite it or I can come back and rewrite it it's not under there but you get what I mean it's really easy and like literally foolproof and on top of the shelf I decided to put all of his disposable plates and cups up above and some other kind of kitchen items so that they're easily accessible because again, he's tall, he can reach up there. It was very important that these were here as well because you know, sometimes you just don't wanna wash dishes and I get it, I get it. And of course I use this bin from the Dollar Tree. If you watch my video, watch it. If you didn't, watch it. And I use this bin that was only $1 to hold kind of like his coffee add-ins down below is where all of his extra coffee sits there's a shelf down below and that's where all of those sit and i also have his extra water down below all right you know what what we're gonna do is we're gonna go low so let's go low all right so down below is where all of his extra water because again he shops bulk which it's okay he had space for it he has his extra water and again his coffee underneath there is a shelf in here which is great because i was able to use the shelf for storage so i use these really inexpensive gray bins from target of course if you watch my video you know i was going to use them and i put all of his water i think this two of them fit a pack of 48 and then on top i'll even grab it for you oh my gosh is where all of his coffee sits so whenever he wants to get coffee he can come down here and get it and of course like i said the add-ons like if you want to add like some healthy stuff into your coffee sits up there. I was trying to make sure I maximized his kitchen. So I used two spaces for his coffee and his coffee machine is literally in the middle. So they're all around the coffee machine, which is very important. Let's put this back. Ugh. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the drawers in this kitchen. So there's about four drawers in here. Two are large, two are small. One of the larger drawers holds his utensils. So I wanted to make sure that I not only had his utensils in here, I also added his kitchen gadgets. So originally he had a utensil drawer organizer that was pretty small for the space, but I decided to add some the everything organizers in them. I added two with the same length as this, and now he can maximize his whole drawer without having extra space. So now his kitchen gadgets can fit in here and everything is in one drawer compared to having them in two drawers, which is very important when it comes to maximizing a small kitchen. Try to have multiple uses for one space. I also added his bag closers clips in here. So, and even though they don't sit in an organizer because one couldn't fit or a small one couldn't fit, he still has, they still have their own space and he can still have access to them with ease. So very simple but effective again this drawer not only holds his cutlery it also holds his kitchen gadgets okay so the next drawer wait before i start come closer 
come closer. Oh, not that close, not that close. So in this drawer is where all of his foil parchment paper and now his, they're not Ziploc bags because that's not the brand, but his Ziploc bags. They sit here so now he can come to this space, get what he needs and go. Before they were sitting in another drawer, but of course it's important that you use or add multiple things in one area, especially when you're working in a small space. So now they sit here and he can come to his space, get what he needs and close the drawer, just like I'm gonna do right now. So on this side, he has his oven mitts. They sit here. He already had them here and they work perfectly. He also has some extra bag clips in here because he shops bulk and we needed a place for them. So they sit here now. All right, so my favorite drawer is this one right here. It's the drawer of all the teas. And before I place a tea in here, it sat in here, which is a no-no to me because it's good to have your tea, I think, in a drawer because easily accessible. Plus you get to see them. And if you know me, I love a drawer. So what I did was I added the everything organizers to this drawer as well to organize all of his tea. And I also added a label to this particular organizer because this particular tea is decaf. So I wanted to make sure that whenever he goes into his drawer, he knows exactly what he's getting without wondering or guessing because that's a no-no when it comes to unidentified items. But now he has access to all of his tea. He can see his tea. He can easily get his tea and use his kettle behind me to make tea. Very simple, very easy, especially for someone who's extremely busy and who lives in a small space. So if you're wondering where are his pots and pans, his pots and pans, sit behind me in this cabinet. Again, because my brother is doing it so well, he only has one set of pots and pans. So he has about six in total and they fit perfectly in this cabinet here. This is the only place for his pots and pans. And I'm so happy that he did this because we're not trying to configure or figure out where to put the rest. And because he only has one set, he was able to fit all of them in one area and yeah. So if you're wondering where his baking pans are, they actually sit in his oven. Of course, if you actually know the truth on how to use that bottom drawer in your oven, you would know that pans don't go there. But because he has a small space, his baking pans sit down there and I would agree to place them down there because there's no other place for them. And of course, under the kitchen sink, it's usually the same anywhere. Put some bins in there. I actually don't have any bins in there, but you can just add some bins in there. The plastic storage bins from the container store are great. Put them in there, put all your cleaners, and you will be in great shape. So as you can see, I created a pantry for my brother. So this shelving unit is from Ikea. It was about 80 bucks, and I think it is perfection. It's actually multifunctional and can be used in other areas in and out of the home. It's a metal, and it has one, two, three, four shelves, which is epic because that means storage. So I decided to use these bins from Target. I love Target. These are the Y weave baskets. I really like them because outside of them being inexpensive, I feel like they go well in a pantry, a kitchen, a bathroom, all those high traffic areas. So I went with gray and black just to give contrast. And then I went with these beautiful baskets that I got from the container store. The water hyacinth smells delicious. I love these baskets. I have been wanting to use these baskets for a while and I felt that they would go well in here because it brings the masculine and feminine energy in this space. And I feel like it goes well with the overall area. So the right one has face masks and the left one is actually empty, which means he has room to grow, which is why the label is empty or blank. Everywhere else is full with all of his items that he needs to use, that he eats, that are not expired. And I feel like going this route really gave him more space because again, I know I've said this many times, but we are working in a small kitchen. And when you're working in a small kitchen, creating space is so important. So bringing out the stuff from the kitchen and adding it to a shelving unit is a way to maximize the kitchen, maximize this area, and of course, create a pantry. So a lot of you guys have asked me, what do you do when your kitchen doesn't have a pantry? This is exactly what you do. You create a pantry. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. This is how I would organize a small apartment. Of course, it's all about maximizing the space. It's all about using products that work well in your space, making sure that your space is easily accessible so that you can, of course, maintain it at the end of the day. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any parts that you like the best. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know below. You already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.